And meanwhile, Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner today extending that bank bailout program, as we told you. Now, it was supposed to end this year, as Ray and I were discussing, but now it's going to end in October and probably right before the midterm elections and not just for banks. And Republican Senator Judd Gregg wondering if the Treasury Secretary just set the next TARP trap and whether he'd make a good contractor in the process. Senator, what do you make of that? Well, unfortunately, I didn't hear the first part of your segment. I was just rushing in from the meeting. But the simple fact is that the TARP dollars don't exist that they're alleged they're going to spend. These monies have to be borrowed, and they're borrowed from our kids. And it's inappropriate to borrow them and claim that you're getting them out of TARP when they're, it's like looking in a draw and saying there's money in the draw. Well, there is no money in the draw. All there in the, is in the draw is the ability to send an IOU to our kids, which will I mean, we, lend, we get more money borrowed to us from, uh, lent to us by China. And you know what I loved about having Ray on, a contractor and obviously a very honest, decent guy, who's saying this is the honest and decent way to go about it, leaving aside whether the customer has the money for it, and you're quite right, Senator, we don't. Um, here's how you're going to amortize that bill. Here's how you're going to delineate that bill. And, and Washington isn't doing that. In fact, it's changing the, the work order as we speak. Well, the big problem here in Washington is that we're putting on the books so much spending that we're basically running up a deficit and a debt which is going to be unsustainable and can't be paid back. And our kids are going to get a country where their standard of living is actually going to be less than our standard of living because of that. And it's just a simple fact. There's no way around it. This is, these spending patterns are in place. They're going to occur. And unless we start getting responsible around here, uh, it's going to happen to our children. Now, the TARP but, but money... But, Senator, under here's law, what's weird. But here's what's weird, Senator. Last year, a little bit more than a year ago, um, Democratic leaders were getting all hot and bothered when Treasury Secretary Paulson at the time came out and said, well, this original intention for the TARP money went expanded a little bit beyond just shoring up financial firms, but, uh, you know, I won't be buying back their debt or their stock. I'm going to expand the use, but it was for financial firms still. Now these same guys are coming back and saying, well, forget the financial firms. Now just spread it out to everybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, just saying, man, nothing. oh, man, that's a bit hypocritical. Oh, well, absolutely. And basically what you're doing is you're taking money, which, as you said, under the law, said that it was either supposed to go to two things, financial, stabilizing the financial industry, which it did, and we're actually getting money back with interest. Taxpayers are doing pretty well on a lot of these accounts. And when the money came back in, the law is very specific. I wrote it. It says the money has to go to reduce the debt. Why? Because we had to borrow the money to begin with. <laughs> you know, we didn't, this money didn't exist. We had to borrow it. Then we lent it to these banks to stabilize them. Now they're paying it back with interest. Now it should go back to reducing the debt. It shouldn't be going around to, you know, be walking around money for this Congress. All right. Senator, it's weird, but the spending train has left that station, I guess. Um, Senator, good seeing you. Thank you, Neil.